have the right to remain curious. For this week's TV show trivia, we have The Wire Trivia. The show was groundbreaking in its depiction of crime on the streets from both sides of the law. As always, the show is three rounds of ten questions each. Each round, dorky, geeky, and nerdy respectively, gets harder than the last. When you're done, be sure to share your scores with me on social media. I have a quick update on the Patreon tiers. If you haven't already joined, there are now two tiers. The original tier, $5 a month, is still there. You get ad-free episodes and some cool gifts every three months. These include stickers and a t-shirt. If you only want ad-free episodes and don't want the gifts, there is now a $1 a month tier. Both help keep the show running. Visit patreon.com slash dorky geeky nerdy. Okay, that's enough chatter. I'm your host, Brian Rollins. This is the Dorky Geeky Nerdy Trivia Podcast, and let's hit the streets. The Dorky Round Number 1. Who played Detective Jimmy McNulty? Dominic West Number 2. What late actor played Lieutenant Cedric Daniels? Lance Reddick. Number three, Wendell Pierce played what police detective? William Bunk Moreland. Pierce was the first actor cast in the series. Number four. The Wire takes place in which U.S. city? Baltimore, Maryland. Number five. What actor portrayed Russell Stringer Bell? Idris Elba. Number six. Sonia Sohn plays what police detective? Kima Greggs. Number seven. Headed by Kingpin Avon, what organization was being investigated by the Baltimore PD? The Barksdale Organization. Number eight. Beginning in season five, we start to follow the events in what city newspaper? The Baltimore Sun. Number nine. What was the nickname of Joseph Stewart? Proposition Joe. Number 10. Starting in Season 4, what middle school becomes part of the show's focus? Edward J. Tillman Middle School. The Geeky Round. Number 1. What network initially aired The Wire? HBO. Number two, what is the show's theme song? Way Down in the Hole. 
Number three, though a different cover is used in each season, who wrote Way Down in the Hole? Tom Waits. Number four, what was the nickname of Reginald Cousins? Bubbles. The character was based on a real-life informant, Possum. Number five, what was the title of the pilot episode? The Target. Number six. Unlike most TV shows and movies, The Wire does not use a soundtrack, but does use what type of music? Diegetic music, or source cues. The music comes from within the scene itself, like a radio or jukebox. Number seven, which U.S. president is an outspoken fan of the series, calling it his favorite TV show? Barack Obama. Number eight, who played Avon Barksdale? Wood Harris. Number nine, played by Method Man, what was the nickname of Melvin Wagstaff? Cheese. Number ten, which police officer leaves the force to become a teacher? Roland Prez Prezbaluski. The Nerdy Round. Number one. For how many seasons did The Wire run? Five seasons. Number two. In what year did The Wire premiere? It started in 2002. Number three. Who is credited with creating The Wire? David Simon. Number four, prior to writing books and this series, who did David Simon work for? The Baltimore Sun. He worked the city desk for 12 years. Number five, much of the writing staff followed Simon from what previous police series on NBC? Homicide, Life on the Streets. Number six, what was the title of the final episode? Dash 30 dash. It's a journalistic term to denote the end of a story. Number seven. Beginning the series as a city councilman, Tommy Carsetti ends the series holding what office? (laughs) 
Governor of Maryland. Number 8. Season 2 introduces characters from the IBS Union. What is IBS short for? International Brotherhood of Stevedores. Stevedores are dock workers. Number 9. Which character killed the most people during the show? Chris Parlow. He's responsible for 11 on screen deaths and 35 in total. Number 10. What crime syndicate was operated in the Highland Town neighborhood of Baltimore? The Greeks. And we are back at the station, or the hideout. Regardless of which side of the law you land on, I hope you had fun. We'll be back with more TV trivia next week with 30 more questions. Here's a hint of what's coming in episode 290. What 1970s spin-off of All in the Family actually ran for two more seasons than its parent series? A classic sitcom should be a nice change of pace from the drama this week, right? See you back here on Wednesday. This was episode 289 of the Dorky, Geeky, Nerdy Trivia Podcast. If you'd like to help support the show, become a patron at patreon.com slash dorky, geeky, nerdy. This podcast is written, produced, and hosted by me, Brian Rollins. If you're into audiobooks or are looking to have your book turned into an audiobook, contact me at thevoicesinmyhead.com. This show was released under a Creative Commons Attribution, Non-Commercial, No Derivatives, 4.0 International License. Thanks for listening. When a U.S. expedition is attacked, three survivors, a professor, her student, and a soldier are saved by a mysterious vessel, the Namtsev. The enigmatic Captain Nikto elects to keep the captives aboard, requiring each of their skills for his daring pursuits. But as evidence of a rogue submarine alerts the world's navies, the captives must work together to avoid annihilation. 20,000 Kilos Under the Sea is a fast-paced adventure thriller that's described as the classic Disney adventure meets the hunt for Red October. 20,000 Kilos Under the Sea, a modern retelling of the Jules Verne classic, written by Richard Wycliffe and narrated by Brian Rollins. Available right now on Audible or iTunes. Discover adventure and madness beneath the waves.